After grabbing this air ball from the Joker, LeBron utilizes one heavy ground covering left handed push ahead, keeps what? tight an extremely high four dribbles with Aaron Gordon on his hip. And despite Jeff Green and KCP being in the vicinity for a potential block, at 100 miles per hour, he Euro steps to split both of them, rising up for the monster coast to coast flush. Stay tuned for more plays like that one broken down in this video. Right quick to support my business, please help the channel reach 100k by subscribing if you enjoy the content, your support is greatly appreciated. Despite having racked up the second most amount of minutes of all time, LeBron James is still flying up the court like the mid-20s version of himself. The King just became the oldest player to post three straight games of scoring 30 plus points since Michael Jordan in 2002. Defying father time at a mind-boggling rate, LeBron James is inhumane, still proving himself as one of the best players in the NBA. I can't stress to you enough how insane it is what LeBron's doing right now, and we should all come together to appreciate the physical specimen we're witnessing while we still can. Aside from the vicious vertical jump somehow still holding up after eight straight years of making the finals last decade in Cleveland and Miami, and continued longevity displayed in LA, you can't help but be inspired by the passion for the game this man still has in year 20. Purely in terms of athleticism, with his speed at his stature, you could argue LeBron's one of, if not the greatest athlete in the history of mankind. Basic evolution entails the greatest athletes ever are those in which we've witnessed over the last 20 years. Olympian Michael Phelps won 23 gold medals in the pool, and Usain Bolt won 8 gold medals on the track. Either of those two could be the GOAT athlete. However, legends who were around long before the last two decades also have solid arguments. Bo Jackson was both a pro bowler in the NFL and an all-star in the MLB. We can't dismiss the greatest heavyweight boxer of all time in Muhammad Ali, or the NHL's all-time leading scorer in Wayne Gretzky. The early years of Michael Jordan, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and Wilt Chamberlain deserve mentions as well. That said, the longevity of LeBron in the 20th year of his career after racking up nearly 64,000 minutes played is just ridiculous. Biggest reason that Kobe's play declined around Bronze Age was that he tore his Achilles tendon, then was limited to just six games in 2013-14. He was never really the same after that. James has never had that type of setback throughout his entire career, and we pray deeply to the basketball gods that he never does, because who knows, maybe this man could mess around and play till he's 50. LeBron followed in the footsteps of Magic and took the game to a whole different stratosphere with his ability to handle the basketball at 6 foot 8 inches tall. Here, he shows off a bit of that sauce, as this instinctive dribble combo results in a momentum going downhill, Jokic is more worried about AD based off all the hype Davis has been getting, and on this attack, watch the lengthy stride to the basket Braun makes to gather force for a beastly rise up and finish. On this transition oppo, after getting it from Schroeder, I'd say about 80% of players would have looked elsewhere than Dennis who just handed it off to him, but LeBron reads that Dennis is on the weak side, so he completes the give and go, damn smart facilitation which a lot of players of LeBron's archetype could learn from. Other players that are LeBron's build can also learn from his stick to itiveness. After airballing like Jokic did to start this video, Russ big bodies rookie Christian Brown and taps it away from KCP for the board, and LeBron smartly sticks with his shot, Russ finds him on the baseline with a bouncer. Then for a second time on the night after missing a shot badly, while you'd see most players just put their head down and stroll back, LeBron sticks with his shot, cuts with abandon to beat Brown and Gordon before rising up yet again. Darvin Ham's offense is beautifully spaced out right here, and after LeBron drives into a jab step while receiving a perfect on-ball from Pat Bev, who pops out, watch how LeBron just swiftly stops on a dime and changes direction before locating Pat. A solid contest from DeAndre Jordan on a James Trailer three-pointer isn't good enough right here. On these shots with defenders 0 to 2 feet near him, under those heavily contested attempts, LeBron ranks just behind Jason Tatum in field goals per game. High pick and roll with AD sees James tumble down the lane, momentum right, momentum left, before bodying off the Joker and fending off Bruce Brown for the off-handed finish could have been a foul as well. But AD was forced to leave this game, and I just want to say that since my Davis video, he's been disappointingly injury prone. But before it was Pat Bev setting the big body, this time it's TBJ, as LBJ again attacks Denver's two-time MVP, fends him off, and finishes with his weaker hand. 
If this was 2011, I guarantee you this baseline attack would have been a blow by and reverse throwdown all day. A bullet to Pat Bev in the corner also works. This right here is a bit of a wild entry pass from Russ, but LeBron's 99 overall rated hands allow him to gather it and stride to the basket all in one motion. Just a really smart high octane backdoor cut on a solid perimeter defender in Bruce Brown. To cap off the night, how about two fading Kobe Bryant-esque leaning back middies at Staples Center for your trouble? And showing you the inspirational stamina in the fourth, he straight up out hustles Jokic right here, and this forceful footwork off the ball is evidently gaining Braun a ton of steam as he gets the Schroeder dime for a righty finish on the left side. Just like LeBron splashes threes, splash thumbs up for more film room breakdowns like that for your boy. Before you go, I didn't tell you guys this, but one of the Boston Celtics top players liked up an Instagram video of mine. Go check out which Celtic did that on my Instagram. And if you enjoy that mixtape along with other edits I have on Insta, follow up at Hoops. Regardless of whether you follow that account, thanks for all the love you guys show my videos. Can't say enough about what that means to the growth of my platform. Is LeBron still a top 5 player, and where does he rank all time? Best answer down below in the comments gets next video shout out. Two winners from my last two uploads today are firstly JJD, who says the Bucks absolutely can win the title. They're an exceptionally good team defensively with guys like Lopez, obviously Giannis, and Drew Holiday. Drew's an amazing third option around Giannis and the shot creator in Middleton along with the very strong supporting cast led by none other than Bobby Portis. That's actually a good point. I didn't mention Bobby Portis in my last video. But the second shout out goes to Kent Saludo who says Jaron Jackson Jr. is underrated in my opinion. I know he doesn't get a lot of credit it and people say that he's always injured and that you can't trust him but if you solely focus on his game he's so perfect with jaw and this memphis team triple j is so good defensively because he's an amazing shot blocker while also being able to move his feet laterally on the perimeter his offensive game needs work but his shooting ability fits well with jaw who loves to drive a lot tyus jones also deserves respect i think he's a starting caliber guard he's always an assist to turnover ratio master thanks for watching have a good one